It's all connected. 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 It's all I mean myself, Grimner, and my lovely co-host, Siglid. <laughs> Siglid, Siglo. Yes, yes. Glow. It's yes. Uh, Monday here, March twenty second, two thousand twenty one, and yeah. uh, noon. It's high noon here in Mountain Zone. Of course, it's two p.m. out there on the East Coast, and uh, what seven p.m. over there in Denmark? Yeah, nineteen hundred. Nineteen hundred hours. Um, of course, uh, next week, you, you, your time changes this week? I think so, weekend. Is yeah. it like the 28th on Sunday, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah. All right. So anyway, uh, hi and howdy to everybody out there tuned in today. How y'all doing? Uh, if you're not over here in the Real Liberty Media chat room on Freenode, come on over. You can jump in through come the... You can jump in on the RLM radio page or our uh, or reallibertybd.com. dot com. There's chat thingies there for you to do your chat thingy. <laughs> anyway, today is episode number thirty five uh, of the It's All Connected program, and we are, have entitled this program. If you're not odd, you're normal, and who wants that? Uh, <laughs> who wants that? I certainly what don't. That? Yeah, yeah. They do. They. Them. Right? So anyway, odd that we're talking about today is uh, what's known as the oppositional defiant disorder, uh, which which started off as a kid thing, uh, but they have expanded it to include adults, adults, and adults, too. Um, <laughs> so any of you adults out there, uh, yeah. If you're an adult or an adult, either one, you may be, uh, as they say, suffering from ODD, oppositional defiant disorder. O D D. You may be odd. ODD. Uh, and I, I myself am quite odd, and uh, I don't suffer from ODD. I fully embrace my ODD. I, I, I don't consider. Um, resentment of authority a bad thing i consider it a great thing and if you're not resentful at somewhat some point to some degree of authority and the crap that they push at you and tell you and say this is how you ought to be uh then maybe you're brainwashed um maybe maybe you you bought into what what it was uh Musay? uh you drank the Kool-Aid um, <laughs> like Jim, but, Jim, um, like Jim Jones crew, uh, he drank that Kool Aid, and and now, well, <laughs> you're but here you just Grimner for just fourteen dollars and ninety five cents, right? Uh huh. You can you can buy the um um course hypnosis course of how to overcome the fear of authority. Oh yeah, so you can hypnotize yourself. And, for just fourteen dollars and ninety five cents, and, and really, you don't even have to do that. Just watch the, the 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 television news all the time, and 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 they will hypnotize you for you, uh, and yes. and convince you that what they're saying that their science uh, is real and actual, and uh, that their their politicians are telling you the truth, and so you don't really need to to buy the fourteen ninety five course on how to how to. <laughs> but but here's the I'll I'll just I'll just read you the uh, the gentle permissive hypnosis session overcome fear of authority is designed to reset your response to authority figures so that you can treat them with the respect they deserve. Oh, they and deserve. No oh, they deserve. And no more. With repeated listens to the session, you will find that you start to see the real person rather than just the authority figure and can treat them just as you would anyone else. So download Overcome Fear of Authority now and start feeling stronger with people in power. 
There you go. Yeah, that's right. Just fifteen dollars. Uh, that's that's a that's a that's a cheap brainwashing method there. <laughs> You, you, you too can believe everything coming out of Biden's mouth. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's the first step to fighting that ODD. You know? Yeah. Instead of instead of calling Anthony fraud, G, uh fraud, uh, you you would believe him and and trust him and give him the respect that he so does. Even, even if he tells you one thing one day and the very opposite thing the next day, it doesn't matter what he says. Whatever he no, says, no. it that's the truth. It Accor doesn't matter what he says. He's an authority. He's an you just authority. Have to respect him for being an authority. And, and you can tell because he wears a white lab coat. <laughs> he was appointed. <laughs> he, he was, and 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 from no mask to yes mask to double mask to triple mask to goggles, earplugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, to, it's it's not a big deal. It's not gonna be you know spread in the U.S. There's no human to human transmission. To everybody, stay away from each other and and and. Uh, you know, don't go out, don't hang out with crowds. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Don't dance. And for God of love, you know, the love of God, Grimnir, don't sing. Don't sing because you don't are. Don't sing. You'll be a super spreader. <laughs> <laughs> don't sing and don't laugh and don't dance, man. Yeah. Deadly. Yeah. You, you're going <laughs> to, you know. So, so tell me, Cirque. Risk the whole thing if you dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So tell me. Yeah. Do you yes. suffer from ODD? Oh, I do. And I have a horrible fear of authority, too. Do you? Have you a fear of authority? Yeah. Oh. See, I, I don't have fear. I, I just have disgust. Well, I, uh, uh, well, the way that they are uh, describing this, I, I, I do. I have an instant reaction to people with authority. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have an instant reaction too, but it's fuck you is my my reaction. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> it's, it's it's really it, 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 there's really no fear involved there. Um, uh, yeah, no, no, no. It's more of a uh, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of the deal, you know. It's it's like uh, I start I, trolling. I become a troll when when I meet uh, authority. Yeah, I, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially especially with somebody like Flash around, you know. <laughs> yes. uh, no, I, oh, I, I, in my younger days, I would get in the faces of cops. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you were one of them punk, punk girls. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did did, uh, you, did you have the uh, question authority button to, to put on your whatever clothing you were wearing? No. Uh, no. Okay. No. I, I had I had that I had that button I had a lot of buttons. Question authority. I had, I had a lot of various punk buttons to. Yeah. Have on whatever. I I I think I had one at a point that in Danish it's uh, adults are fascists. Okay, but now you're an adult, so are you a fascist? I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> hey. Uh, well, you're 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 in an adult body, whether you're actually mentally an adult or not. You know that's that's just society's uh, generalized view upon me. Sure. Well, you know, you are a responsible human being. You. You have a job and you go to work. Fuck and... you! What the fuck did I do to you? <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 true. You you work for a you know. A, a... I do. I I do have I do have a very adultish kind of life though. Yeah. 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 It's called imitation. And you have and you have and you have you know you have a dog to take care of, so that's like a child there, kind of. Well, you know. And a cat. And a cat. Yeah. So two kids. Yeah. Two fur kids. Yeah. And an ogre. And an ogre. Well, <laughs> that's a little different. <laughs> are you an adult? Do you, are, do you consider yourself? No, I never did. Phew. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess for a period of time I did. 
I mean, I, I, I got caught up into the whole work thing for lots of years, lots of years. And I, I became one of those people that, you know, demanded that the rest of my coworkers, you know, were serious about their positions and got 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 to their job and did, did things on time and took care of their business. I, yeah. I don't I don't know what what happened, what got into me during that period of time, but yeah, I, I became one of them for a while. Um, uh, probably hormones. I don't I don't know what it was, but you know I Chemicals. I guess maybe feeling that I had to go there and be that way and. Um, yeah, the sense of duty. That's a trigger. You know? I don't yeah. know where you get it from, though, right? Well, you get sucked into that corporate world. I, I yeah. um <laughs> Suddenly you find you have, like, a sense of duty, and you go, the fuck? Yeah. Well, you, you know what I found is, is uh, you make a lot of money there at those places, man. Yeah. yeah those give you yeah. all kinds of money for doing just, I mean, what I considered just you know useless crap. Um, uh, but but uh, during that time, I felt it was very important. I felt that I was yes. doing something that meant something. Yes, for you long, were for, creating something. I, I was, was but but it, it was important to me. It was, maybe it was important to people within the corporation there inside the company. But uh, it, I realized one day when. Oh, after I think like the third buyout of the company and the third time they came around saying these are the new things and and all the other stuff you were doing, so uh, but it came to me one day uh, like a, like a flash, not like your flash, <laughs> but like <or> like <laughs> yeah, and, and I realized that nothing I was doing there was going to make any difference to the world in the long run. And when when they started telling me that um, I needed to manipulate the information in order to make it appear that what they were doing was good and proper and correct and wasn't harming anybody, uh, that that that, that kind of broke me. It, it broke me of all that because I, I was like, hey, you know, <laughs> you, you may be having your troubles with your regulatory body, the FDA. Uh, and and you you want your information to appear that that everything you've done is good and correct, but I know differently. I see the raw mm. data, uh, and 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 so at, at, I think that's what the point that broke me from that. Um, mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You saw rot. Yeah. 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 Corruption, right? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. And it was horrible. Um, yeah. And. Uh, and and I, even though I'm, I I don't like the FDA one single bit, um, with those people that were there from the FDA that would come over and sit in my little office every day for months on end um, uh, to to get the information directly uh, from me, I liked those people. They were good people. Well, yeah. they, 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 were, they were better than the people that were telling me to fake the data. <laughs> so... <laughs> Which I never did. I, I never, I never agreed to doing that. Uh, no. Even though that that really pissed off the authority there in the company, so I was I was uh, oppositionally defiant to the uh, to my direct uh, bosses, I guess. Um, and not so you have ODD. I do. I've always had ODD. I had ODD yeah. when I was a little kid, and it, it never went away. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'll bet you, I'll bet you that uh, uh, you know at least most of the people here at Real Liberty Media, they they're they're uh, ODD people, and I I, I I don't want to call them sufferers. Cause like I said, I, I think most people that have that are uh, defiant uh, to authority um, are glad that they're defiant to authority because they realize that the authorities are liars. And, uh, but don't you think it comes with a, a certain, um, I don't know, punishment or resistance? Or oh, suffering? certainly, yeah. It, it makes your it makes your life harder uh, than if just going with the flow. You know, mm -hmm. if if you follow along, if you if you become one of the herd, then then you're treated better. 
uh, than, than somebody that, that questions, even questioning is, is, is a horrible thing to them. Uh, they, they don't want you to question their word. And, uh, you know, now it's to the point where, uh, if you do question your thing, if you're out there on any of the, uh, social media platforms, they'll kick your ass off. Uh, because you're not, not even saying that, look, this, this corona nonsense is fake. Uh, but, but just saying, I don't know whether or not this corona nonsense is fake or not. That's enough. You, you, know, you do know what that means, though, right? No, tell me. That their initial data mining is uh, was a success. Yeah, well, the, and the data manipulation. They, no they no longer need the, the ODDs uh, to use their platforms. Right, right. And now they're kicking them because they already know enough about them. And they already figured out how to uh, track them other ways. Oh, sure. It's play, play. You know, most people carry around like their little cell phone and, uh, you know, tell the world everything they're doing from what they're having for breakfast and taking pictures of that and posting yeah. it up or uh, to, to giving their opinions or views on things. But they also will go after you uh, yeah. if if you if you are questioning their – yeah, one time I posted up this uh, – bunch of uh, images of uh, a chemtrail plane uh, over on Real Liberty Media. And and that post got so much hatred pushed upon it. I, I did, and, and I said right there in the post, I don't know if this is accurate or true. Uh, a whistleblower sent me a bunch of photos of this plane being geared up to go out and spray chemtrails. And, and boy, did that bring a lot of just hate and mm -hmm. dissent uh, to, towards me and towards Real Liberty Media, uh, they, the people, uh, for whatever reason, don't want you to know that, the, mm -hmm. that the, you know, they're out there spraying these chemtrails around for nefarious mm -hmm. purposes. Um, I, even, you know, saying things like, uh, you know, 9-11 did not happen according to the way the government said it. Uh, th that's enough to, in some areas, some circles, not you, um, some, some, some circles uh, to, to bring all kinds of hatred down upon your head uh, because they, they want yeah. to believe that the government is honest and true and, and, and giving them proper information, which I would imagine, I, you know, I was only uh, three years old when Kennedy was shot. Um, yeah. uh, so I, I don't know uh, back then, but I would imagine the people that said, hey, this don't look right. A lot of the things that, that uh, you're telling us about how Kennedy was shot just don't add up. I imagine they got the same kind of treatment that we're getting now um, over over this corona nonsense or over the, the phony global warming crap. Um, I think it got worse. I think the uh, singling out and I think the straw manning and the, the gaslighting got way worse. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I mean, just we we we're just because we're to this show we're looking at letter at uh, links with uh, descriptions of ODD, right? Like a normal state that uh, a certain percentage of the of any group of humans is going to be in. There's always going to be people born that have that you know do this. Right. Well, you know, in, in order to it's not true bullshit, right? In, in order to not have uh, ODD, I guess, or <laughs> in order to not question authority, you have to live in a state of total and continuous cognitive dissonance. Um, yeah. Yeah, you have to because because they 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 contradict themselves all the time, and, and if you're going to continually believe in what they're telling you. You've got to be able to accept opposing views in your head and figure out how how those somehow make sense to you. Which how can you do that? How how can how can you accept uh, that red is blue? Uh, when, when... I'll, I'll read I'll read a passage of this and just the okay. NLP in this is amazing. Okay, right? well now now, you, now let me, let me just say first before you get into that because. NLP, for those that don't know, that's Neuro Linguistic Programming, and that's done through a lot of various methods, mostly through language, uh, which I guess that's the linguistic part, 
um, and neuro being brain parts, so brain language programming. Um, but th there's a lot of people out there pushing NLP as a very positive thing, and there's classes on, yeah. how, on how to uh, how to do how to NLP. Reprogram yourself with your language, or, yeah. or how to reprogram groups of people. Yeah. 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 Okay. So go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt you there. Okay. No, I just this is just so loaded, right? It's from the uh, psychology, right? Okay. That it, I think it's the link you you found about the uh, oppositional defiant disorder in adults. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's like yeah. familiar to me. Yeah. And yeah, I'll read this. It's just beautiful loaded language, right? These adults find it difficult to differentiate between good and bad. They are antisocial and cannot deal with anyone telling them what to do. <laughs> Basically, this disorder is classified as a state of continuous rebelling against the right. Yeah, well, that right. sounds like me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> only, yeah. only I, I, I do not consider it uh, to be a disorder. I consider it to be a, an order. <laughs> but aren't they like you know? First they say that these people can you know us people can't differentiate between good and bad, right? Yeah. Because we and and they say we are antisocial and cannot deal with anyone telling us what to do. So right. usually, if you reject an order. It's because you can't tell the difference between good and bad. Well, and, and, and see, that's the thing. In opposition of what you're being told to do. <laughs> that, that, that's the thing. The um, good and bad. And, and where is the definition of good and bad? Good, I suppose, yeah. is is following what along. What the authority tells you to Yeah, whatever the authority says is good. And uh, if you're not with the authority 100% blindly, uh, walking down that path, then you're bad. So I'm bad, like Jesse James. Oh. <laughs> yeah. so that's an old John Lee Hooker thing. Like, anyway. like the bank robbers are the bad guys, right? Like the who are? The bank robbers. Oh, yeah, bank robbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not the banks. No, yeah. the bank robbers. Uh, the banks are robbers, but that's a whole different thing. Um, <laughs> like the drug dealers, you know, the worst people on earth, drug dealers. Yeah, because somebody said it was illegal. <laughs> it's illegal to have those substances. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, you know, when it comes to NLP and loaded language, drug dealers are like the scum of the earth. Oh, right. The worst of the worst. They, they've been, they've been, you know, they've been portraying drug dealers as dirt more than they've been doing it with pedophiles. Oh, sure, yeah. and, you know, and it used to be the alcohol people when alcohol was prohibited. But but now it, they've, they've switched it to, you know, all any natural substance that you might enjoy uh, is, yeah. is bad for you. Uh, not, it, the, not the war criminals, you know. Those no, no. are not the real bad guys, not the ones who kill, you know, hundreds of thousands of people with their war crimes. No, no. Sure. No, the the guy who sells weed on the street, he's like, you know, the devil himself. Oh, absolutely. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It, it looks like the ODD people might, you know, might be seeing something else than what is being uh, presented to them. Right, and and I, and I like it in that uh, psychology. -y. Uh, article that this this one little bit of NLP they throw right at the top there, uh, well not right at the top but near it. It says this write up will give you all the information you need about oppositional defiant disorder in adults. All the information you need. All the and information. And then there's like what a hundred words. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, yeah. So this is this is a uh, well documented, uh, researched disorder, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and you can read all about it in a hundred words. Uh huh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. God. So Go so they 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 have treatment. They have treatment if you're uh, the ODD. Uh, you, you can take. Yes, they do. You can take prescribed medications. Drug yourself. Drug yourself into believing. 
uh, <laughs> to comp. And see, it's funny because we were reading about the adults, right? Yeah. That's easy to make it funny, though, right? But then, then you skim over, and then you realize this is mainly used on children. Though. Mainly, yeah, it is because well, children's minds are easier to mold. So if they can get you to break you uh, from your uh, disgust of authority at an early age, it's then they can br probably keep you that way uh, for for you know most of your life, uh, d depending on I guess the, the events that may happen to you throughout your life. But but if you but just there go are, ahead there are and children you know, being diagnosed with this. Oh, tons of children and are being treated, diagnosed. Being treated for it. Yeah, I mean you know. Uh, if you you know like if yeah, if you're a child you're in you're in a public uh, indoctrination center, uh, I mean a school, um, then then um, if you you know just believe the word of your teacher rather than saying, hey, what you said there does not make sense, uh, and 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 you know question her lesson plan, I guess then uh, they they can keep you that way for a long time. Um, it's insane. Yeah, and they, they consider they consider this is a it's, scary. it's a it's a it's it's a problem. It's a behavioral pattern that that leads you leads you down this road. Um, I think I I think my generation was one of was one of the last generations that went to school where there weren't di diagnoses everywhere. Yeah, well, the, I mean, there was never nobody, any. Nobody was diagnosed with anything when I went. To there, there was no such thing as ADD when I was a no. kid. I mean, I mean, you were a kid. You're a little, you know, little brat if you just acted out. They didn't say, "Oh, he's he's got a, some kind of disease here. Let's give him speed to slow him down." Which what? <laughs> <laughs> I think it does, though. I, I, some I, people's it, brain it, are it, wired. I had a friend one. He. Very hyperactive, right? Uh -huh. Sometimes he wouldn't sleep, but he would just work and work and work for like days. Yeah. And then when he got so ill from that, he would take a load of, of speed and that would crash him to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that would, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I mean, that's I don't, how his brain worked, right? All right. Sure. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Well, you know, chemistry. <laughs> chemistry is cool stuff. Um, yeah. Anthony wants to know if we're kvetching which I guess is a Jewish word, uh, about Reaganomics again. No, but see, Reaganomics... Um, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm, uh, what I'm being accused of here. Reaganomics was another one of those cognitive dissonance things you had to believe in. The, uh, the uh, trickle-down theory of economics, oh, where, where, oh. if you, where if you give the rich people everything, then some of that will filter down into the poor yeah. people, uh, <laughs> which was like... Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've been watching economics for an awful long time, and, and I have not seen that to be the case. <laughs> no. no. Uh, every time I see the rich people get something, they get they take it and they get more of it, and more and more of it. So, um, I, you know, I'm not against rich people. You know, I, I, I'm all for them, really, because uh, without them being up there um, – it, it, there would be a lot less stuff going on, and that is not via trickle down. That's uh, via them uh, trying to en enrich themselves even more. Because if they can get you uh, to to buy into the theory that you know we're gonna in, uh, in make your life better by by doing these little things for this little amount of pay, uh, then, then 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 they'll get much 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 richer and. And you I, won't I really, but you'll do general. okay. You'll be fine. Um, I think I think the whole thing about rich people, I don't think, you know, rich, I don't think it's a, it's not a trade or a, a, in a human, right? What? Well, you know, it's it's not something you are. <laughs> it's, it's something you have, though. It's, it's objects. Well, no, I, 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 well, I think it's what you become. Uh, when you get to a certain level, you know. Uh, no, I don't. I wouldn't define anybody from their um, economical wealth. Wouldn't do that to rich people. Wouldn't do that to no. Okay. I will say though that um, I don't like greedy people, and I don't like um, what do you call them when you're um, 
holding tight to your stuff when you're uh, McScrooge. McScrooge, when you're Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you, I don't know what you call it, right? When you're cheap. Well, I'm cheap. I I I, I, I live very frugally. Yeah, but, but you don't you don't uh, I don't know how I don't have the word for it though. Okay. Well, you I don't think... invite yourself over to people just to eat their food and then leave again, though, right? Um, I guess. Are they going to bring me food? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, there are some uh, human uh, traits, right? Being yeah. rich is not a human trait. It says something about what you hold, not who you are. There are rich people who are greedy people, and I, I don't think I'd like those. I don't as a jet I don't really don't like greedy people. No. Well you but know there I, are also uh, people with a lot of money who are not greedy. Well that's true. That's true. And I I would like those. I mean I like those. I know people with money that are not greedy. That's good. That's good. Yeah, um most of you here probably never read there's a uh, kind of a compilation book, uh, Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand, um, and it's called The Virtue of Selfishness. And and I, I learned a lot reading that book. Uh, and it's basically, it's just like interviews and little uh, short bits out of other things. Uh, but one thing, and she's talking about it, and the virtue of selfishness, uh, because it can be a virtue. Uh, because... If like, like, let's say you're you're the type of person that wants to donate to every charity in the world, you want to help everybody in the world, and so in order to do that, because you don't want to feel guilty about having so much when everybody else has so little, so if you give away everything that you have, how are you going to help anybody? You're not. You're not going to be able to. You can't help anybody if you give away everything you got. So if you Take what you have, and you build up uh, a platform, whatever it is, a comp corporation or a charity or whatever, and you use that to bring other people along with you, uh, up up the ladder, uh, you know, uh, fr from their, you know, living on the street to actually having an apartment and maybe getting a house or getting other properties, uh, or, or, you know, and so that those people can then start their own thing. But you, which you could have never done if you gave away everything that you had. If you felt so terrible uh, about having money when when so many people were starving out there, uh, and, and, and you you, um, uh, I mean that you just messed yourself up and you messed up all the people that you were going to help. Um, because that I think that's what I was trying to say that you. are Nobody is defined by what they hold in their pockets, right? Right. See, Christine points out here. She she says what I'm describing is not selfishness. Well, it wasn't really my description. It was Ayn Rand's. But um, <laughs> she, says, she calls it enlightened self-interest. Absolutely. I agree with that. Uh, mm -hmm. to, to think of oneself is the first priority. It should be the first priority. Uh, that is not selfish. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, you, you got to be able uh, to have the the means in order to help other people. Uh, and, and if you know, if during that you you enrich yourself, so be it. You're still doing good. Um, so I, that, exactly, you are defined by your actions and your character, though. But a lot of people out there will will see. Uh, those people with money and, and just automatically hate them and be disgusted by them because they have stuff that these other people don't have. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> I, 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 I like Dad Rand, although she wasn't exactly, uh, you know, the, the, the perfect uh, person for me because uh, she hated anarchy. She, she was not a fan of anarchy at all. Um, uh, which you know, I guess I can understand considering her background, but uh, and but her comprehension of anarchy was not very good. Uh, well, that's the thing I don't get though. So so that, because that would mean that you're just a fan of rulers. Well, and to a degree, she was. 
Um, I, I mean, sh- sh- to a it's degree. It's a profound belief that you that human beings need to be ruled. Right. Otherwise, yeah. Yes, will it? Will and, it and you know the thing about that is, um, if you get uh, like a, a group together somewhere, mm. isolated and in crisis, mm. they will even automatically start looking for who's the leader here, who's in charge, who's gonna who's gonna take us down the right path, who's gonna lead us away from this terrible stuff and and make our life better. Um, it, it's it's human nature that people do that. I I, I'm not so sure. Well, I think you would find more, though. More what? Because you would look for, well, more than one leader. I mean, there is such, you know, I, I don't, I'm not against authority. I don't have, that's why I don't, I don't have a fear of authority. Uh, I, I don't, it's the appointed authority that freaks me out. Okay, but yeah. But the guy who can build the best boat, yeah, I'm going to follow him when we're building the boat. Okay, good. That's good. <laughs> that doesn't mean he's he's the one who's going to lead where we're going to sail. No, though, no, right? no. Right? Yeah, he's he's uh, you know he's a boat builder. He's not necessarily a navigator. Um. <laughs> no, but he's the, he will be the authority when it comes to building the boat. Right, and that's what authority should mean: is the person with the most knowledge about a thing, uh, or or you know extensive knowledge about a thing. They're an authority on a subject, uh, yeah. not an authority over other people. But there, but there are those within that group that will try and appoint themselves as in charge of everybody, and that people must listen to them. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I and know. those are very those are very dangerous <laughs> types of folk. Um, and, and, and I will have uh, an oppositional defiance to them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yes, and I don't consider that a disorder. Again, not a disorder. Uh, that that is a, a healthy way of looking at it. Is that who the hell are you to tell me what oh, to do? To create this order, though, isn't it? Yeah, and then you take. I don't mind. I don't mind being. I don't mind being the force of oppositional defiant disorder. Good. Well, yeah. Except that's just that disorder part. Yeah. Would that be the FUD? FUD. <laughs> because I'm the force of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Join the FUD. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Fud. <laughs> Fud. Um, yeah, anyway. So, but I, I mean, you know, you got people, just look at freaking Biden. The guy's a, a moron. He, he's a, he's a, he, and he's got, you know, problems of thinking properly. And, and he is supposed to be the ultimate authority, right? The, quote, leader of the free world. Um, hey, and he, he can't even put two sentences together, man. So uh, I, I guess uh, being against him w- would would say uh, that you 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 have ODD because you're not you're not yeah. following yeah. all the words of of the creepy sniffer. Um, <laughs> which... But just look how they are portraying people who doesn't follow Biden. I mean. They right. got him, you know, as the savior from the horrible force that was Trump. Right, <gasps> right. He is all of the them. savior. He, Wait, he's well. going he's gonna to undo all uh, the madness that the orange guy did. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, well, not, uh, the, not the bombing, though. See, and, 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 and Flash is asking, what bank is behind Creepy? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not necessarily behind him. They're controlling him. They're telling him what to do, and he does it. Just like all the previous presidents before him. Um, the the banks yeah. say, this is what you will do, and if you don't, you'll be ruined. And so they do it. Because they like, they, they like that feeling of having power over everybody. They, they like yeah. that feeling of being in charge. So uh, Yeah. Because they're psychos. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they like they like controlling and, and using force and violence on others. They're psychos. Sure, sure. You know, there isn't a politician who isn't. They went into politics. They decided they wanted to spend their life 
making rules other people have to follow. Right. And, and you know, I, I think the initial idea, at least here in the U.S., uh, was that uh, for people to be a politician, they'd go in there and do some job for two, four, six years, uh, and and then they would go home. But these fuckers Why never go you? home. They never... <laughs> they, they, Why would you want to do that, though? I, would you I, want to spend two years making rules others have to uh, obey? No, I would want to spend years removing rules. That, that, Wouldn't that, you be in dissonance with your odd? Because you'd be going, what? I, I, I would I would be the only one up there remo- you know, you're like, uh, removing all, as many rules as possible, getting eliminating <laughs> as many laws as possible. Uh, Filibustering yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> my, my only law would be that all previous laws are gone and dead, and you have one law now, and that is don't steal. Uh, and, yeah. and, and that that don't steal, as Grammy Mary used to explain quite often, that theft includes violence upon others. Um, uh, theft mm. theft pretty much includes everything, because if if you harm somebody, you are stealing something from them. You are you mm. know stealing their ability to do something. If you kill them, you're stealing their life from them. So no stealing, no stealing. Yeah. That that should be the only law that exists out there. Um, <laughs> theft is bad don't do it uh and, and that does not need to be enforced by a bunch of jackboots um and in, I, in the uh 70s in denmark uh, a guy made a political party um his political program was he would only have one ministry you know there only be one minister the minister of um abolishing the state Oh and yeah, that's a good idea. I, I, that title. Yeah. I like that guy. I like that guy. Yeah, yeah if you if if you ever he read voted for him. He he got seats in the parliament. Cool. Yeah. If if you ever uh, read the book The Iron Web by Larkin Rose, um mm. you you'll see the uh kind of deception required in order for somebody with an actual free mind to get into a position of power where they could actually start ending things. Um, it's, it's a great book. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, the, the iron web. Uh, yeah, so, uh, he's definitely an ODD too. Oh, no. Well, well you know, he's an anarchist. He's what do you want? Disorder, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, yeah. What would I, uh, Christine's asking, what would I agree must be done to those who do harm others? Uh, well, I, I think that uh, the individual that's harmed or uh, the uh, immediate community around them um, would, would have to take whatever action it is. Um, yeah, a reaction to an action. Face face whatever you did and face the reaction of what you did. Right, but, but that should be um, left up to the, the, the individual that was harmed or the immediate community if the, the harm to that individual was, you know, caused somebody's death or was to a child or whatever. Um, and, and, well, see, it does. Um, uh, she, can we, she's going, immediate, Christine's going on to say, immediate community, a community then assumes some authority. Well, the authority is, if you want to live here, you want to stay in uh, uh, this community, uh, then we have, you know, certain rules which mean, you know, those rules are not to cause harm to anybody, not to theft, no theft allowed. Uh, and if not, uh, then the community using a common law type of thing um, uh, w- would say, okay, uh, you can either take the punishment that we uh, agreed to here, or you can be out of the community. And if you're out of the community, uh, then you're outside of law, meaning at that point you are an outlaw. <laughs> now, no, nothing to say you couldn't go to some other community and repeat your vile acts, um, uh, and, and, unless that other community found out where the person was from and asked them, "Hey, what do you mean by uh, you know you, you, you kicked this guy out? Why?" And then they would explain to him, "Yeah, this guy did some bad stuff to somebody, and he uh, re- refused to uh, compensate this person in, in the manner just you know prescribed uh, by the individual or by the community itself." Um, so they would have to live on, you know, the the outside of that group. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't need no passport, but thanks. Um, <laughs> anyway, that, that's a, that's kind of a common law community type agorist uh, society um, that that I think would benefit all the, the people that living there within that. Um, but truly, you know, authority is it comes as you know it's the same as power, really, right? Because authority yeah. said you people place their power into to somebody else. Absolutely. And and that's uh that should be a voluntary action and an ongoing action that you do with consciousness. Right. Yeah. And, and if, if somebody, you know, if somebody who lie or cheat or steal, I I would think that at most people would find the compassion to try to understand why. You would think. You 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 would think, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but but understanding and preventing uh, them from co uh, continuing on uh, w with that. Um, yeah. Uh, because you know, just because you understand why this person is doing that, doesn't mean they're going to stop doing it. Or no, that... no. no. <laughs> yeah. That's never. That's like. There's never just either or, though, right? Oh no, but, no. There's there's many many shades of gray, and yeah. I, and I'm not talking about that perverted book either. <laughs> no, I think I think that whole uh, thing about court system and criminal laws, and when you start writing stuff down, I think most of that written down legal criminal law shit <laughs> is mainly. Writing a manual how to become how you can be the utmost asshole with the least consequence, right? Right, and, and again, if I if I may, and you don't really need it. If if I may again point to Larkin Rose and a book that he wrote called "How to Be a Successful Tyrant." <laughs> <laughs> right, you just you got to read the law, and then you figure your holes and loops, and how how you can maximize assholiness. With as little consequence as possible, though. Right, because or that is what most of the court systems and oh, and written down law is. It's it's uh, yeah, the smoke. I mean, it if you the criminals against yeah. their reactions. Right, if you read through the legalese uh, of of you know any of the laws or the the stuff they do in the courts, uh, you, you'll realize it's the, the words they use sound like common words, right? Um, mm -hmm. Uh, but they're not to take the word understand as an example, because I don't know if they do over there in, in uh, Denmark, but here in the U.S., um, they will always ask, do you understand? But they don't mean, do you comprehend? They mean, do you agree to stand under the rules as we have given them to you, which is totally different. Um, than, than understanding um, <laughs> as comprehension. Uh, so uh, if, if so, if, if a cop here says, "Do you understand?" You say, "No, but I do comprehend." They're not going to accept that. They want you to say, "Yes, I understand," <laughs> because it's a legalese term. Uh, and, but there's a lot of words like that in there. A lot of terminology that they throw at you um, to fool you. In, the, in Denmark, and, it's a stand in front. Will you stand in front of the court? Yeah. Okay. Well, they they mean the same thing because they're saying, uh, and if you are, if you, there's a thing. Um, they, they use basically maritime law here in the U.S. Um, and, and I don't know if they do there or not, but um, there's a thing. If you have to go into a courtroom. And they have these little swinging gates right there that really serve no purpose whatsoever, except for that hat when you when you enter through those little swinging gates into the actual courtroom, not in the back where the, where the you know audience I guess it would be a thing uh, that you're that 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 is sitting. But if once you walk into that, you have boarded the ship. You have become at that point once you board that ship, the courtroom. You are under admiralty law, uh, which has a fully different set of rules than than you might expect uh, or that you've ever been been put under before. So it's and besides all that, 
it's all just a big fucking sham to protect criminals. Well, to and a that's, degree, that's but what, the, the, that's the, what the, courts do. The, the, the criminals are, are are the ones running the show. <laughs> what well, it does? The criminals are definitely the ones writing the rules and running the show. Uh, it, the it, court it, systems are protecting rapists, pedophiles, oh, sure. human traffickers. All yeah. the time. Absolutely, absolutely. Stealers and liars, murderers. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, they, they do. Uh, you know, and, and unless you're, you know, they'll never face those that they wrong. And, unless, they unless, they'll always uh, face uh, an appointed, again, an appointed authority to act upon. Unless, uh, unless those criminals are displaying signs of ODD, uh, <laughs> in which case they will slam them against the wall and do bad things to them. Because you don't even have the right to um, forgive somebody. As a victim, you don't even have the right to say, I don't wish for any punishment to, to happen upon this guy. You oh, you can say it. Uh, you can say it, but it won't matter. It won't matter. Right. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with you. Suddenly, you're just this object that you're being served upon, right? Oh, that, that's all you are. You, you, you are chattel. So, yes. Yeah. yeah. And that, that's, I mean, that's the basic thing is uh, those that feel like they're the elite, the rulers, the kings, whatever, they don't, they don't consider humans as anything more than chattel. Um, no, they act upon you all the time. Yes, upon you, against you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so how could you not have ODD? That's the question. <laughs> can, they can, even turned it into a disorder. They right. even turned it into an illness. <laughs> right, because because you're you're not buying into the nonsense, and and no. and and you have to buy into the nonsense uh, in, in order to be a quote good citizen. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna put what do you call those little um, lines you put between words to separate them? Hyphen? Yeah, you call the little... <laughs> a hyphen? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, yeah, I'll put one in the chat. One of those. Yeah, a hyphen. Yeah, I would put one of those in between this and order, and then I'd wear it proudly. Okay. To be the um, op oppositional defiant disorder. I diss your I, order. Yeah, I diss your order. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But so the stars, you know, the people with their stars and badges and their titles and stuff. Right. Them. So going going back to the show's title here, if you're mm -hmm. not odd, you're normal. And who odd. wants that? Who? <laughs> because if you're normal, that means you're one of them that buys into it, that believes it, that 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 thinks those. Those rulers, those people in charge, those people with yeah. the badge, uh, you know, you think that they're they're good, and whatever they say must be followed. You're a freaking bootlicker at that um, point. Um, yeah. Fuck <laughs> them. Yeah. Yeah, uh, be, be, because you're the you're going to obey who because don't suffer from odd. It's the people it, who just don't suffer from it and and think authority is great. But who aren't being violent to others? I forgive you. I, you know, I understand. I forgive you. I don't forgive you. I don't. I don't forgive you. Your compliance. Your compliance is is why we're in the situation we are. Your compliance makes life harder for everybody. You are the ones. You normals. <laughs> <laughs> Normies. <laughs> Normie. You freaking normies. Um, is 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 are the reason that we have so much trouble is is the reason yeah. uh, that it's very true. But that, I forgive them. I forgive. I don't. Them. I don't forgive them. I don't forgive the mask wearers. I I I, I don't forget. Give the the lockdown embracers. I don't give to forgive the vaccine embracers. Those 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 people and especially uh, the the ones out there, the Karens, as they're colloquially known at this point in time. Um, I, they are they are causing making life harder for everybody uh, by by being compliant and demanding that you are compliant. Uh, that that they they are a problem. They are a problem to me. But I am I'd be Christian enough to forgive them on behalf of you. 
Just like Jesus can forgive Jacob for what he did to Peter, right? Oh, but <laughs> that that was a one time thing, you know. It, it wasn't a continue on, continually ongoing situation. No, it, is. it is. That's the thing about power, though. You have to continuously give it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. You, your power can't be taken once and for all. You have to continuously surrender it. Because that is the truth about power, though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, submissive one is the one who holds all the power. And the dominant part is the one who is completely reliant on getting it. Right. I mean, if you, if you want to be that kind of person, you need to get people... Um, to continuously surrender their power right. to you. Right. And, and, and they do. They love it. They, they and at it. any point, they have the choice. They, the submissive always have the choice of not surrendering, of of becoming an odd and going, fuck off. Yep. And then the dominant part is fucked. Yep. See, uh, Christine points out, forgive does not mean not holding accountable. The herd makes it all possible. Um, yep. I get it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I, I think we've covered uh, covered this topic uh, well, well enough. I don't think I said they uh, didn't hold anybody accountable. No, no, I know I you, said you. You said you were Christian I enough agree. to forgive uh, yes. those, and and and, and I, 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 the Christian part. <laughs> I admire you for that. Um, yes, for for having that, uh, and you know maybe those. Every moment. Every moment we start over. And maybe, Every moment we start over in a new existing, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's maybe, what forgiving is. That's yeah. why. That's why the, there's a power in forgiveness. Yeah, I and that's and I will true. forgive them. Let go, the I, let go of that bubble we were just in and move to another one. I, I will forgive them if they change <laughs> if they change their ways. But as long as they continue on. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, that, 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 they will uh, never change their ways. Really. Well, then, to hell with them. Um. <laughs> more, the thing is, more and more kids are born with these disorders. That means that uh, they're, more they're and more not, kids are harder to control. They're not born with these disorders. They are no, they're getting them in, <laughs> indoctrinated with these disorders. But more and more children are uh, growing up and do not cannot conform to this good so so the, the it might not be a revolution where you get rid of the the people that follow authority blindly but the evolution will definitely do it let's hope we see indigo kids indigos are you know growing by the numbers all the time good that's a, that, that's the next uh... artistic creative with new abilities and new ways of seeing things and they're pushing boundaries all the time good that's a, that's that's the next step of evolution there yeah. um yeah anyway we're done here um we're, we're, we're going to wrap it up uh th thank you all for tuning in uh it's been a fun conversation uh, uh with y'all and uh, with uh, the lovely miss Sirk. and we'll be yeah. back next monday with uh, episode 36 of it's all connected because you know it's all connected um <laughs> yeah yeah so uh coming up on uh, real liberty media this week you got uh myself and moose girl on a thursday at 7 p.m eastern with Ooh. free your mind and um, then on friday is uh vincent easily too um <laughs> with american Dis dissonance disorder uh, yeah he's, got he's he's a disorder. he's a dissonant He's a dissident. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, Saturday is the Redneck Dentist. Um, and he'll he'll give you some good information. He's got a great show. I like Redneck Dentist. Uh, and then Sunday is the Blues with me in the morning. And then Hal Anthony at 3 p.m. behind the woodshed opening up the big old can of whoop-ass. And Ooh. then uh, Gary L. and Gigi's Do doing the uh, top ten countdown this week will be 1951. So uh, some Ooh. great music there. And then rolls right back around us. Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll talk to you all later. You got anything else, sir? Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to say on the Internet, you can shop disorders. So find your right disorder and go with it. There you go. Shop. Find your your proper disorder. <laughs> and maximize. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you can, you can, you can uh, what, what was it? Hypnotize yourself and, and become comfortable with your disorder. Ooh. Ooh. And maximize. Yeah. All right. Talk to y'all later. Peace.
Peace.